In a GBC interview, John Cortez said government members had behaved very professionally, despite having ties to the owners of the new St Mary's School. Together, Gibraltar points out that the minister claimed he personally did not have any conflict of interest and was therefore in a position to reassure the people of Gibraltar that nothing untoward is happening. However, the party says it would like to remind Dr Cortez of the dictionary meaning of the term conflict of interest, which is described as a situation in which someone cannot make a fair decision because they will be personally affected by the result. Together, Gibraltar says there is a clear and stunningly obvious conflict of interest in relation to the owners of the new St Mary's School, in that the company that employs past and present members of this government is benefiting from a contract taken on by this government on behalf of the people of Gibraltar. The party reminds Dr Cortés that as a government minister under the leadership of Chief Minister Fabian Picardo, he does not get to build schools of his own, detached from the conflicts of interest of other government colleagues. Together, Gibraltar says it joins with the GSD in asking for full and detailed disclosure of the deal, which it says represents poor value for money for the Gibraltarian taxpayer. The party says the answers provided by Dr Cortés on this matter are unconvincing, to say the least. However, the government has branded Ms Hassan Naon a hypocrite and reminds her that no contract has been entered into by Hassan's law firm in respect of the school. It says it has already disclosed the names of the beneficial owners of town range developments, which include only three out of Hassan's 29 partners. Two, it says, are her cousins, and another is the founder and ex-leader of her former party, the GSD. The government also reminds Ms Hassan Naon that she is inextricably linked to the eponymously named law firm and that it ill behoves her to pretend otherwise. The government highlights how Ms Hassan Naon did not raise any issue of conflict when the government rented properties in which her own family's trusts have an interest, for example, in Leant's Place and NatWest House, despite the interests also being shared with some of the people who are the developers in the arrangements for the new school. Finally, it reminds Ms Hassan Naon of the dictionary definition of hypocrisy, which is a pretense of having a virtuous character, moral or religious beliefs or principles that one does not really possess. The government says this seems like an entirely fitting definition of Marlene Hassan Naon's attitude to everything in politics.